by printbymagic.com. Printing playing cards and services for magicians. Hi guys, James Anthony here from magicworld.co.uk and I'm very excited to bring you a review this week. This week we're going to be reviewing Real Watch by Uday Jadugar and Murphy's Magic Supplies. And um, yeah, that's, that's where we're going to go in just a few moments time. I want to say we're going to be bringing more reviews out very shortly. So please do click the like, subscribe button. Uh, that will support the channel. And let's get going into this week's review. Boom. I have to do a fancy transition. Boom. 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 OK, I've kind of just gone insane right now. <laughs> This is because I don't do review shows often enough. And because of that, I have to reset up everything almost every time. So I will be doing more review shows. That is my firm uh, investment into where I'm going with Magic World. Uh, more review shows are going to be coming again and more events where you can log in and watch uh, and learn and get some crazy deals. Uh, one that will be coming up very soon is an event with Dan and Jim Tyler uh, and a super crazy deal as well. So he's going to be coming on and we're going to be doing a, a sort of like a group session and um, having a group chat, question and answers, that kind of thing. Really excited about that as well. And I think we're going to have another one maybe with Julio Montoro jumping on as well. So lots of exciting things to come. But I am diversing. Let's get on to the review of The Real Watch. Now, as you can tell with these reviews, I hate, um, I hate having to edit afterwards. So that is why if I make a mistake, you'll see it in here. If I blabber too much, you're going to see it in here. Um, unless there's something really bad, I give away a secret, then I have to do the editing. But otherwise, you're just going to get kind of what I would have done if it was live. And uh, yeah, let's just do this because that's what we're here for. Let's cut to it. But before I cut to a trailer, I'm going to show you the product. It's called the Real Watch. It's £32 approximately, give or take, depending which magic shop you go. But on Magic World, I think it's £31.96 or something like that. Now, uh, let's cut to a trailer. So here we go. This is the trailer. And these are the two versions. I mean, he shows them better than me. Uh, just because I don't have the solid black edition here with me. I have the stainless steel one. Uh, but yes, you can float stuff. So pretty accurate. You can float uh, notes and you can... That's the black edition, which I really like. I'll tell you that that is actually my preference. I prefer the black edition than the silver. Uh, you can make the deck, the cards pop up like that. Yes, you can make things levitate and you can make things move along the table. You can do all the things that you can normally do with invisible thread or a reel, should I say. So let's keep looking at the trailer. Uh, titanium black. Like I say, I think the black one just to me looks even cooler. Is that it at the end? Real watch. Yeah, that's it. OK, very, very fast trailer there then. So right. I, at first, was not expecting very much from this product. I will be honest, I saw it and I thought, uh, is it going to be any good? And I thought, probably not. Uh, I don't know why I'm so cynical sometimes when it comes to magic. But then, of course, Uday Jaduga makes some very good stuff. So I kind of had hopes for this. Now, my hopes, I will just say, were not shattered. Uh, it is a good real for the price and that is pretty much where it stands with the whole review um i'm going to show you the watch first of all so let's do a nice close-up of the watch uh we should be able to go to the close-up but here we go here's the watch it's on my wrist right now ready to go and uh yeah it, to anybody who is not a magician you're not going to be looking at the watch uh, most people are not really checking out watches, especially Apple watches, because so many people have them. If it was a Rolex or something crazy, maybe. But when it's just a regular standard watch like this, fewer people notice it. Uh, I would definitely, in my opinion, go for the all black version, just because I think it blends in more and makes it less chance of them looking at it. Whereas the imperfections you might see from the silver version, just the slight imperfections, um, of like this area here 
it, it kind of draws more attention to it. Whereas when it's all black, that blends in, that blends in. It just, for me, looks a, even more better. However, it works great. The silver one is the one I've got right now. And uh, it looks like a genuine watch. I find myself catching myself looking up to uh, the watch to see the time and then realize that I can't. Um, so there is one main drawback, of course. You are now sacrificing maybe something else that you'd be using your Apple Watch for. So if you use an Apple Watch to peak, um, or electronically, that kind of thing, or for any it, routines like inject, you can't really use that unless you're using an external peak device. Now, the other thing you can't use is a watch like for Timesmith, where you're making the watch automatically go to a correct time. So because of that, you're sacrificing on those things, but if your kind of magic is visual, then this is the thing for you. So I love the Spider Pen Pro by Yigal Masika. It's amazing. And it is still probably my favorite device just because of the electronics in it. The way it moves, it is super silent. And that's the word we're going to be going to most in this, in this whole routine. It is super silent and it works. It's even tension at all times. So the Spider Pen, if you can afford it, spend that hundred and odd quid, get yourself a Spider Pen Pro. It is one of the best items. However, the limitation is one, I keep the Spider Pen Pro in my top pocket here, but it's always ready to go, almost as handy as this. However, if you're not gigging or you're on a beach and you don't have a jacket on, you can't put it there. You can put the Spider Pen on your side pocket. However, uh, if it's on your side pocket, it's I'm always afraid of pulling it out uh, and putting other things inside the pocket. So for me, the best place is there. Uh, this actually eliminates all those problems. So it was better than I actually thought it was. So first of all, I'm going to go for the drawbacks. The drawbacks is the sound it makes. And as I go through this, uh, you will hear potentially the sound that is being made. I'm not sure if you can hear. I'll try and do it on camera now. That's all I'm going to do. I don't want to give away anything. However, if I now let go, I'm going to do it off camera so people don't see how it works. Okay. So you hear a bit of a, a tinny sound as it returns back. Now, because of that, I would make sure that I bring it back slowly and I wouldn't let it hit. Um, also, moving it too fast to create that sound. So you can get around this, but you just got to create more controlled movements. By doing controlled movements, you're not getting that sound and you can almost eliminate it completely. So there is a workaround. You don't have to put up with that massive sound, but if you pull quite quickly, you're going to hear it or retract too quickly, you're going to hear it. Uh, now, in most circumstances, you could have a bit of music on, sounds going on, people talking, but I wouldn't worry about it at all myself unless I'm in a quiet environment. And then I'd have to be very careful about how I move. So let's uh, see if I can actually do something with it. Now, I've only been uh, playing around. The one thing is, if you learn uh, this kind of magic, red magic, the one thing I will say is that you have to get used to a different anchor point. So I'm now getting used to the fact that my thread doesn't come from the top pocket. It now comes from my watch. So uh, I'm going to go down to here. A playing card will be chosen. A playing card could be returned. On top of the deck like this and now you can take the rest of the cards and pop them on here like this now from if i bring this back up to here if i've done this right we can just make that car slowly i'm looking at the camera um, and you do need to practice obviously make it slowly move slowly move slowly move it should be rising up but because i've got the, the thread and slightly the wrong position at the bottom of the card it was going off to the side but you can do that kind of a routine. Another routine that you can do very easily is the haunted deck. Now, this actually I love. Uh, I'm getting used to the fact that it's now anchored here. Um, but with just a bit of practice, I can put a, a chosen card into the pack. I can put the deck of cards on the table in the way that I would normally do. And I often also do this on the floor. So I put the cards on the floor, walk away a little bit, and then do it. So the fact that I can still do this and snap, make the cards move, and then make a card pop out, 
is just fantastic. So uh, the Haunted Deck, it just works. Now bear in mind, I'm not a massive thread worker. Haunted Deck is my number one trick. And I learned how to use it with the watch in five or six times upstairs. Now, when you get used, if you never have worked with thread before, it's going to break a number of times. You're going to have to practice, practice, practice until the point where you're aware of the thread and it doesn't break. However, uh, I broke it twice upstairs and we'll go into the re-threading in just a moment. But I was super impressed with, I was worried that it was going to be a bit weird having the thread here and not having it from a higher point like this. And my hand is always moving. However, I'm actually finding it quite cool that I can just, I can just move right now. I've got the thread. So for PK touches, you know, pretending to touch somebody, not touching them, but they feel the touches, it's right there, ready for me to use. And it's attached to my watch. I could be wearing shorts. I could have no top on. Hey, never thought about that. I'm not going to do it for the review show. However, you could be swimming. You could be in a swimming pool. Somebody asks you to do a trick. Oh my goodness, hand me something. Hand me a deck of cards. You could have, be, have your top off, you could be doing this on the beach, and everything is hidden in your watch. So there's some really cool aspects to this. But getting used to handling the thread and not breaking it is something that you're going to have to put some time into. And um, they do teach a lot of the routines on the DVD. Now, some of the handlings are good. Now, some I do slightly differently myself. So when it comes to thread work, I would always invest in other tutorials as well on thread work, learn how to handle threads in various different ways. And there's loads of great materials out there. However, uh, he does solidly go over loads of different routines. You can make pages turn by themselves. You can make pens move on the table, sunglasses move over. You can do so much with this one device right here. So it's got its pros, it's got its cons. Its pros are it's compact, it's on your wrist, you don't have to have a jacket on, it's ready to go at a moment's notice. It's easy to replace the thread. So that was my worst nightmare. I always thought the replacing of the thread, if it breaks, you hear that snap, your heart sinks suddenly and you think, oh my God, I've got to replace the thread. This is really cool. Uh, you just take it off like this and on the back, this is the only thing I'm going to show to people because I'm not showing the inner devices of this. You just push something through that, jobs are good. Uh, the front comes off and uh, you have access to the reel, which can be changed very, very quickly. Now, if you compare this to the old reels, when I grew up doing magic, I'm going to show my age now, they were these plastic sort of devices. The better ones were the long ones. The smaller ones were still very good, but all I will say is that something is spinning it's a reel and it's not electronic. And the smaller it is, the more the tension gets stronger as you pull something away. So as I'm pulling the magic away, I can feel it getting tighter now. Because it's so much smaller and shorter, the tension builds up faster, which means you can't retract it too far. Or I personally wouldn't. However, when you had the long ones, um, the tension built up slower because it's built on a large elastic band, basically, a very in one and it builds up tension as it spins and it's got more to play with in this it's got a very tiny amount so i wouldn't be retracting this the length of the room like um, a spider pen pro can do uh, i would be just doing a small length i've comfortably done it standing up and the deck of cards is on the floor so i'm really impressed with that so but limitations but for the price you can't go wrong 32 pounds uh, it is a brilliant device its biggest drawback is the noise it makes, um, which I'm not sure if you can hear now. That's if I'm doing it fast. Uh, if I do it near the microphone. However, now notice if I do it slowly, if I'm acting and careful. So I've still got to be careful. But now, once with thread work you get used to using your fingers and various things to to capture the thread and now you can do any movements uh, but the letting go i certainly wouldn't go like that but it is yeah there we go i'm trying not to uh, mumble too much about this product i think it is a brilliant brilliant trick um uh, utility that you'll be carrying around with you i love the way that the glass just pops out and you can replace it in under 
15 seconds. Um, you might need some spare wax. It does not come with any spare wax inside the box. You will need to buy some magician's wax or have some in your drawer. Masika wax is fantastic. The thread, I think, will last a long, 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 long time. Uh, there's no replacements of the elastic with the thing spins around a reel. Um, so I would say it's not really made for replacing that side too much. However, if you really needed to, I think you could replace the thread and put a new thread onto it. But uh, they do say it kind of comes with a lot of thread, which makes me feel uh, more than you'll ever need, which it kind of makes me feel like, well, once it's run out, it's probably easier just to buy another watch. However, personally, I think it is replaceable, that, um, and I don't think you'd have any problems whatsoever. You could even try replacing it with other threads, depending on your types of magic. The thread is quite strong that comes with it, so it doesn't break too easily, which is also great. So now I'm going to give it a rating out of 10. Let's just give it a rating of 8 out of 10. And the only reason it's just it's knocked down a couple of points is because of the, uh, the noise that it makes. Um, in a perfect world, this would be an electronic watch, and I'm sure it will come out in the future. Somebody, please, somebody, anybody, make an electronic version of this. Um, now, there is one point I've not uh, covered on, is the bands are exactly the same kind of bands that you get with a normal iPhone. So they feel just as comfy. It is really comfy to wear, super comfy, and it just feels like I'm wearing a normal Apple watch. Just don't go into the sea with it. Or swimming pool. However, it's yeah, it just feels normal and natural. So that's why I find myself looking at the time. So all in all, it's a great product. A little bit noisy, but not too noisy. And for the price, I think it's very good. Please bring an electronic version out, and please bring an electronic version out that I can actually see the time somehow. And that would be fantastic. If it doesn't have to be a full screen, just a little area where I can still see what the time is, would be fantastic. You know, when the battery runs out and just having half of the section showing the time would be brilliant. So it kind of looks still like a normal watch, but the battery is running out of it. Uh, but that could be utilized in so many ways. There is room for it. Um, and the electronic side, if you had the same electronics that were in the Masika watch inside this watch, then you could, it, you could take it miles away. The sound would be gone completely and it would just be brilliant. But Hands, hands up to them, they've done a fantastic job. I really like this watch, and I think it surprised me, and I think it will surprise you more um, when you get one in your hands, because it is better than I imagined it would be. There we go. So thank you very much for watching this Magical Review Show. We will come back very, very shortly with another review of some great products. There's loads of cool products out there, and also Magic World is bringing out quite a few new ones as well. So can't wait to see you in the next one. Click the like and subscribe, please. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the alert button, and we'll see you next time.